Hi guys, hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back, I'm Lola. So today I'm gonna do a small project, basically just updating stuff that I got either from a thrift shop or a free market or Facebook marketplace and I will show you what I've got today. So stay with me and let's do something today guys. project I got this item from Facebook marketplace hold on let me show you it's like this shelf it's small but it's heavy it's wood so it looks good I think I can use this for my studio to put my paint or knickknacks so looks good i want to update it because i i don't really like the design on it and the color so yeah let's get on to the project all right guys here i'm using black chalk paint from bear the reason i use this black color is not because i want to distress this piece i just want to cover all the designs on this piece and it's easier to paint white after i cover all of this uh, scenery <laughs> this design with the uh, black paint i only need uh, one coat with this black paint Alright guys, this is the next day. My black chalk paint is cured and now I want to cover it up with white. I'm using the paint from Bear Scuff Defense. Okay guys, this is my second coat with white paint. I'm only using two coats of uh, white paint here for this piece.
All right, guys, this is my second project. So I always want to have a tear tray, but whatever I see, it's always a bit too pricey for me. So I'm gonna make my own. So I found this uh, pizza pan on dollar store. So I think I will just put it all together with a spindle. I have a spindle stash. So it was like this, but I cut it in half, so. Yeah, let's get on to the project. So guys, to paint this pizza pan, I'm using a Rust-Oleum chalk paint and the color is H gray. So guys, I'm using two coats of paint for the back side and two coats of paint for the front side for both this pizza pans. So now it's time to put this tear tray all together. I'm using glue from E6000 and also Instant Bound. So you can see that uh, my husband <laughs> is there, is helping me because I never used instant bound before and I think I love it, it's amazing. Just put the glue, spray and done. <laughs> well, we do need to press it, like the glue after it's activated by the spray, we need to press it for 15 seconds and it's all done.
Oh yeah guys, I forget to record that after I put this tray all together, I fake distress it using black chalk paint. I just dry brush it on the edge and some parts that I want it to look like it's distressed. Alright guys, this is our third project, our last project today. So I get this from, uh, I forget, it's either flea market or thrift store. So you can see somebody put like a glitter on it. So it looks cute, but I just want to update the color. It still function well. Just need to clean the inside and voila! So let's get on to the project guys! Alright guys, so we're gonna paint this uh, box, chest, small chest, with the acrylic paint. I'm using two colors today. One is white, this one, one is black, and they both from Deco Art. I just bought them from the dollar store. And let's get on it. Oh yeah guys, I know it's easier just to use spray paint to work on this kind of project but it's raining outside all day and I have time, I like painting anyway by hand.
Okay guys, it's done. But when I see the result, I don't really feeling it. It feels too white and too new. So I put on a, a what you call it? Oh yeah, antique wax, antiquing wax. But I water it down so I mix it with water and I just slap it on top of the white but then after I see it I don't think it's dark enough to my liking for this item so I just put the antiquing wax straight to the piece
guys that's it for the projects today i hope you enjoy it don't forget to leave me your comment like and subscribe because it will help my channel to grow bigger thank you so much for visiting my channel and watching my video see you all again in my next project Ta-da!